Oh, but still having that in the hand here for Spider. Already using the Tailwind as well. That means the 100 Thieves are going to direct their attention towards the Seasite. And the clear into Garage, and they do spam it. Yes, Ethan! Knows Curry can play that angle. They clear it out, but they back off, back over towards B. Still a lot of players outside of A, and Days will walk up with a Frenzy. Not going to find anything. Steel will put him down. Now Asuna and Ethan do a link. Spider's going to challenge. He wins it. And still more to find. Oh, the swing here from Ethan. Player still Skadoodle pushes forward. Ethan with the 3K. The spike goes down. Automatic, the last player standing. But it's 100 Thieves territory. Let's still get that spike planted. And now just sit nice and cozy in the post plant. Automatic smoke up and running. He's got a paranoia as well. But he's got a tall task. 1v4. You see the tendrils of 100 Thieves. They're starting to spread out. The camera up two flashes as well. And still challenges right as the smoke drops. Thieves, T1, not going to force up. They'll wait for that third round to play the game. But still, Spider, once again, we'll have to see how often he plays towards his garage side because this is the second time he's playing such a weird position that we don't normally get to see. The sight hit. <laughs> it's quick. It's easy. It's also beautiful color girl. Skadoodle will also fall as well down to just Curry. Last man standing, the anchor for the C site. It should be a hundred thieves round. Dude, it feels like forever that we've gotten a breach mirror matchup in NA. Like literally forever. <laughs> we see it all the time in EU, but all I'm here. Waiting for those audio cues. Automatic in a <laughs> lot of trouble. Nitro and Asuna will decimate. Now the 5v3. This is the gun round for T1 that is slowly slipping away. Those flash points exchanged into completion and steals on the flank still holding Spider back. The bonus looks good. That last flash to take down the player in the back of sight. Oh. <laughs> just so perfectly timed and they even get Skadoodle back down as well. Garage control. So even if Days and Skadoodle found some sort of, you know, long flank or something. Okay, Days. Oh. Okay, Days. Oh. He still has to stay because only 22 HP and obviously time ticking. Steel is going fast for him, and he might actually be able to spot him if he exposes himself to the window. But you thought the rivalry was done? You thought they were friends? Come on now! Come on now! Steel! The shot. Be able to smoke from over here. No. Straight up from the shadows into heaven. If he gets canceled, he's going to go back. No, he goes commit. He full commits. Asta underneath, oh. and he misses. Curry's here with two. Oh, just right the tip. Curry with three. Can he find another? No, he go converts, but Ethan, he'll drop down, down to 84, the 2v3. Paranoia, here's the swing. There's a player, there's darkness all around. It's Ethan, headshot commits. The spike is being planted, automatic with the backstab, but still one player remains automatic. Actually might give them, oh, still already knows. Still already knows, oh! he almost gets a second, but Spider responds, and it's all good. Paranoia coming in and rolling thunder. The red carpet's out and Spider is down in the dust, but Skadoodle still here alive. Two picks, Kamezi automatic from heaven. And that's exactly where he's going to send Hiko down to the 1v2, Ethan all on his lonesome. Still want to get the spike down here. Smoke will subside, paranoia through just for the swing is good, but he's got his knife out. Curry cooking up a storm. Spider still with the angle here. The action about to commence, fault line. Does push him off the angle, but the blades come through. Automatic with one. Should be around to clean up on. He actually manages to make it to Platus. They're still blinded. Aftershock, not going to make it any easier. Spider goes up, has a couple of players caught in his web, but Hiko only managing to take down one as T1 will tie a Sarts with a fault line, but how will the story end? Automatic, slow moving. It's the wraparound. But still, Steel is in a beautiful position. If you tr if you dare try to flank us, I will be your demise. Still, automatic smoke off towards that long side. Now the action starts to come through. Daze finds one, but Nitro will answer back. Spider still now having control of the site itself. T1 are slowly making their way in. Steel in with the flank. The shock dart. One more. Spider able to answer back. It's up to heck. The shock dart. And Spider stack up on each other and 100 Thieves has no response to it. They lose a couple, but they still have space on C because of Ethan's lurk maintaining this presence. That might have been the play the entire time. Now this 3v3 will start off. He's going to spot. Can he TP out? No, he's going to face. Curry will take him out. Now 100 Thieves deep. 
I don't know if there's any cages left or what, but it is planted for them. Nitro. It's really up to him. Nico's just going to delay, 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 but it's being defused. It's up to half. He goes through the smoke. One more. Give it to him. A hundred thieves up by two. It's going to go up. See, that leaves a cage to the fire as well. Drone through. They're going to go for it. He's in a great spot. Finds one. Can he find another? He can. Automatic's there to help. Still the swing. Nitro will pick up the slim pickings off the floor, but Automatic is there as well. The Hunter's Fury all down to Hiko in a 1v3. We've seen him pull off some magic before, but it's difficult now. It's different. It's Spider. It's Automatic. It's Dazed. Shock Dart coming through. Not going to tag anybody. Still, now the Owl Drone comes through. This is where matters get even worse, but he doesn't get tagged. The, sh the Recon Bolt's going to spot him out. Shock Dart's going to make it worse. 94 HP. One on the plat. That's the first swing. Blade still connect. One more around the corner. They're stacking. He go with one. He go with two. One more available, and he's got 40 seconds. He knows where Spider is. But now, time has passed. He needs to re-swing. Spider's there, and he finds him. That was a little too close for comfort, ladies and gentlemen. They go quick up. Nitro's here to respond. He only has a classic. There's a frenzy. Oh. It doesn't matter. For the burst. Ethan also stuck. Nade's coming out. Not gonna do too much. They're actually on the site, though. Skadoodle in the back line. Oh, with the frenzy of all things, but he goes also there. A little bit separated. Now, the defense, they're gonna be pushing in from the side that the offense probably don't expect. Daze does spot one, but does he know Asuna is still there? They've got to deal with Eco. They've got to deal with Steel. So far, it's not going to work out on Steel, but still two members remain. Automatic Scott, good juice here with the classic. Now, Shock Darts come through. They're low. They're injured. They're down and out, and they're down bad, but Automatic is still alive. Both members still severely injured, but the smoke is going to make matters worse, but it's Eco, ladies and gentlemen, as 100 Thieves come out with the win on the pistol. It feels like a different... Other agents in rank, you know, who knows, right? But... We put into that world in the competitive play. The action, though, gonna start things off here in the garage side as 100 Thieves will bunker down and eliminate the invasion. Two members down here for T1, but they're gonna try again potentially at this garage push. So well read, though, from 100 Thieves to have three players here. I think you obviously have the camera down over there from Steel and maybe a couple peeks towards a lobby indicating that it's gonna be grass or C. Austin the left, oh, maybe on his own. No, oh, Nitro's here. still here. Ooh. Now, that was almost cool. That was almost really cool. Automatic with a flank on Garage from C. But instead, you get shut down. Austin is aware. Now it doesn't look like it's the case. It looks like they want to go again for the Garage. Play! Ooh. Eco! It's in the window. Spider will one share from down. Automatic gets the kill on the Ethan too, though. That's on the Cubby. C is open right now. Asuna has to hold on if they want this round. And he's got the flank coming in here from Automatic, but he decides to back away. The potential to bunker down, get that bonus. But this Still is uh... his camera the entire round, this entire time. Just sitting in the corner in the camera, he's got the judge! Oh. <laughs> that is juicy! Nitro, seconds left. alongside Asuna, still gonna try to retake the site. Spike's still not planted. They can delay for as long as they want as the spike is out in a difficult spot. They're just gonna try to go for frags here, but of course, Nitro gonna be the only one to- They don't, it's gonna be all left to just hurry. Here's a couple flash exchange. He's gonna drop out steel. Yes, he gets one. He finds one at least, as it goes deep, but it gets taken care of by automatic. And now as they start to funnel through, you find a couple more. Nitro cut with his robot arm out, now down to Hiko with the Hunter's Fury, but there's no time. Finds the upgrade, but cannot find the escape. Neither will Dazed either, and T1 will trail up. They've heavily stacked towards other sides of the map, and that's going to put Curry in a tougher spot. Knowing that the A site was relatively clear, his presence in towards B was a little bit difficult to hold steel. He's ready. He's got They're the Odin. So aware, man. Oh, oh, but it doesn't no matter! Way. That's beautiful! The, the trap wire down in hell! Oh my goodness, Steel, that was amazing! Switching things up too, you realize that that's actually playing in the cubby. How do Thieves still have the chance though? It's a man advantage, Austin's gonna go! Yes, the blind, the perfect timing, he saps us over. And he's gonna face even more! 100 Thieves put that push down instantly. I should push out of Garage, take him out, and that's the flank. They can play that retake much, much faster in that case.
Steel, are you going to have that same moment? The judge is here. The cage is here. No! Curry comes up bigger. Spider pushes forward, finds his Nitro, and this sight hit is masterful. Unbelievable. He had Nitro just waiting, possibly to use his ult, depending on what we saw from Nitro, or from Steel pushing through that cage. But doesn't work a second time, and it's an insta save for 100 Thieves. Days is already on the hunt. If he finds a couple, this could be huge. But you have to remember, economy for T1, almost just as important of him doing damage right now. If he does a decent amount of damage, that might be a boon going to the next rounds. Uh-oh. Nice shot spotted. Now he's in a little bit of a tougher spot than he had initially anticipated. The duel against Sassana. Okay, gets the headshot. He is adding some serious damage. We so hard and Steel's in a position again to go for it from the shadows as well to regroup oh. another spam from Steel. Are you kidding me with this? Is this real? Another one! This man oh. is unstoppable with these plays. Spam out the cam. Now the camera comes up, sees the planter. It's Skadoodle 3v4. Shot starts. Starting to come through, but he go. Oh, that's a lot of damage, but Steel still going to save him. He drops down. Steals away the ace. Automatic's going to not allow that to happen, but he's all on his lonesome 13 HP as soon as he pops out the smoke for one. Next up, we go to Icebox T1's pick. This is 100 Thieves' pick, but it's not over just yet. T Problematic because he doesn't have the ability to tell what's happening on the site. That's a little bit of an awkward smoke. What's it doing there? And Asuna's is going to find another one. This could be the nail in the coffin and the hammer keeps hitting. Asuna with another down a two. Could be the next point here for 100 Thieves. That's going to be another to seal the fate. All down to Skadoodle, but he won't be Skadaddy to close out the map. All down to him in the 1v5. There's the showstopper and it's automatic. He's delaying the plant. You don't have a lot of time. You got to get involved. Automatic's down. That's spiked down. Shot from behind from Spider, but the attacker's on. But 100 Thieves, they're still holding on. Playing a little bit passive. There's the swing. Spider finds one, tags the toes of another. He's just trying to get up the ramp. That spike down to T1. Still not able to take Spider out in the back either. Classic not doing the damage. A tough retake now. The wall's still up. They're all back a belt. They've cleared the flank. Hopefully this is not a big investment from 100 Thieves. Still five members strong here for T1. Now the action about to pop off, but really... It's the T1 show up. T1 swarming the site. Got Spider up on the top. Does find one early. But Nitro down below. Shot's going to be good onto one. Can he find another? The spike's being planted. And T1 is just holding off the defensive line as they start to retake the site. Nitro still alive. Resurrection puts them back into the mix. They want to secure this round as 100 Thieves is down. A member, Owl Drone to scout them out, allows 100 Thieves a little bit more space to work with. But still, that is a very open angle on the spike. The sprays come down and the oh, the, oh that's so unfortunate as the molly goes down from the viper but skadoodle just holding him off spider with another all down to nitro and he can't make it work the bonus is huge stop them from pushing forward and that will be key ethan with the first kill and that's on the skadoodle not the biggest of losses of course is skadoodle a great player but in terms of utility just paint shells satchel that takes space in the duelist at least they have the wall up. They have Viper as well to control space. But the challenge is Asuna's going to lose it against Curry. Jumps on top of the white box right there. And the favor changes all of a sudden. He's trying to avoid the recon bolt coming in behind yellow. Tough place to be. Uh-oh. 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 Ninja from the sky, steal. Right. But still, Curry, the 18-year-old from Texas A&M, bringing in the flames. Now the wall goes up once more, <gasps> but the wall goes up for Nitro. Oh, he didn't take it, but he's going to put up a wall of his own still. The flight, but automatic. Oh, goodness gracious. Curry with three, and it's all down to steal. 1v2, a little bit doable with a very injured Viper. But that resurrection is going to make things so difficult. Turret available for the body peak here. Has the lockdown if he finds an early pick. Curry is going to be the meat shield around the yellow side. And still 
going nice. to be automatic once more. What a round from T1. That's five in a row. Wow. The orb coming down shortly, but Skadoodle is using the showstopper to clear out Ethan. He will find it, but it's automatic that steals that one. Nitro back sight beside Snowman with the op. Not going to find any success as it's down to 11 seconds. T1 need to plant. Now they will. He go with one, but it's delayed. It's delayed by Eco Spider. He can't get to the spike in time. He's walled up. Hits his head right <laughs> on the ceiling, and that's around uh, four people in the last round. Double up. There's the first one. Finds automatic. The other one's over towards the B side. Now Asuna goes vertical. Doesn't even need the showstopper. As Steel is on fire. Skadoodle does find, manage to find an answer back onto Ethan. The nades as well onto Asuna, but Steel still backside. He's all in his lonesome here, and he needs the rotate to come through. Uh oh, he's in a little bit of trouble, but still. There's a satchel to push him off, though. He's gonna go up and take the spike. That spider, now they have to dash, but that's time for Nitro to get Ethan back uh -oh. into this, and they're going back over the other side. They still have poison orb available for them to cross, but uh -oh. no, he's not actually gonna pop it. Steel's gonna clear him! Oh, and Skadoodle was on the tube as well. That's so tough. Shots now gonna come for Nitro. Spike being planted. 1v2. Possible here with the utility he has. Has the wall, has the orb, but Curry has been an absolute nuisance on this map. Those tight angles, those flanking maneuvers with the Viper. Now he's in the kitchen. Nitro pushing up through orange. Spider's in a great spot. He can play it safe back behind yellow. Once that tap comes through, Curry can start to wrap around through the kitchen. But the wall is going to make it a little bit more difficult. He can get it up to half here and then try to fight Curry, who's rotating back around. Here's going to be the peak here for Spider. Here is a Spider takes on Nitro. The next two maps, they end up losing, and some of them in brutal fashion. In this round, the fact that they needed to win this, the fact that they've actually invested, stop the bleeding here or go down potentially 11 to 1. That's annoying. But <laughs> we'll survive. There was one pick that 100 Thieves were able to clap back with, but really it's just been the T1 show. And it's looking like there are a couple of reruns coming your way. This is the buy round here for 100 Thieves, so definitely looking injured, looking down and out and... With shots like that, we know Skadoodle's back into form, feeling himself alongside Curry, who's been having a phenomenal performance. Ethan, the last to fall there. Sorry, the Toxic Scream not going to be here. Poison Orb not available for them to rotate back, but it doesn't matter, apparently. They're going to duel before the wall. Beautiful stuff from T1. To peek down the long mid angles, knowing that they're going to have the advantage with the Vandals against Sheriffs. And then putting down the wall, and then putting down the spike. Just that one difference earns them a pick. They're throwing a lot of utility to try to flush out the players back yellow. They will get injured, but what does that matter? Automatic will find one. The wall they're goes up there, just trying to oh, stick the plan. It. They don't care. Steel's going to stop them. But now Nitro's got to pull off, and Skadoodle will make it rain with the paint <laughs> shells. Oh, that is, that's a lot of fun. Hyper spit. That's a lot of fun, too. The big jello up and around. Curry's going to stick right in it. Frozen in place. The shots are good. Spider will help participate, and this is just domination for T1. Now the spike's going down. Hiko and Steel have to retake the site, and boy, is it going to be difficult. The lockdown's going to help out. That's going to be the snake fight, and boy, does it hurt. Now, Steel. Oh, Skadoodle just up on top of the jello. Hiko will be the last to fall of flawless. <laughs> this on that first one. Who knows? Ooh. I think to start off, also a sheriff bot from Spider. He'll dash away. All good. Oh. Skadoodle also combining for an aid. If they win this pistol round, oh my goodness. Oh That's... my. <laughs> this, what is happening? What That's is happening here? Say, man. Oh my, what is happening? <laughs> he gets another paint shell. How does this keep happening? Skadoodle with three already on the board. Automatic with another. The rope antics from Hiko. Hopping from rope to rope, Indiana Jones, but is there a secret skull at the end of the tunnel? He's all on his lonesome, and the boulder's coming in hot. The recon bolt will spot him out. The shock dart's going to make matters worse, but now a 1v3. Manages to take out Spider, but still, Spike's in a tough spot. Recon bolt's his only piece of utility. He does get a couple of tags. People just need to wrap around. Curry's been flanking the whole time, and it's the frenzy, and it's mad. be good. Uh, yeah, it's going to be okay. Icebox, yeah, sure. Nope. <laughs>
<laughs> that was a trap if I've ever seen one. Use it on attack, you can use it on defense. <laughs> okay. We're gonna spray a little bit through, scoot it over the top. Even Ooh. man advantage right now, nobody's got it. It's even all the way through. Awesome, what can he do with the marshal? From range. Nothing. Wall comes back up. That denies them the post plant. This is so easy. I just went through though. There's no position behind yellow. Automatic starts to push in. He's going to find two with the spray down. No heal available, but it's all down to Ethan. Sheriff in hand. One player's going to swing. It's automatic. There's Ethan, but it's not. In the series and just the rounds. <laughs> I thought we were done with that, but no, there it is. Automatic and Spider with a frenzy going to dash forward. There's the wall to get over. But actually, Ethan goes over top by action, I believe. Now they're stuck. Skadoodle with a flash point. That actually will put him down, but a second peek from Curry. It doesn't wow. matter. He gets them both. The two anchors can't hold off the push from 100 Thieves, but it's back to a 3v3. The wall is there, and the defense are coming from it. Day is just trying to hop on and over. But Spider, all in his lonesome. Maybe they want to push all through lane together. The paranoia comes through. They're in a little bit of trouble. Shock Dart's going to make Spider in a little bit of trouble, but he's going to get tagged by it. That's two. The drop down, but he goes there. He gets flanked from lane by Daze, and the initial pistol goes to T1. Might be a little bit of a red herring. Austin is going to creep up. There's the flashpoint. He dodges it, and Curry wow. loses his life because of that. Man advantage now on this force back. Cover going up. Pick for B. Maybe T1 rotates over. Let's hit this A site. That's what they're preparing to start. Automatic is down. That's a great opening to continue the push. Spider up in heaven. He's only ready with the push forward, but he only has a ghost. T1, they're starting to rotate over. The wall is going to stop them from pushing forward, but that's going to be a great spot for Spider. They don't anticipate him there on the heaven side, but he only has a ghost. He's keeping them at bay, but he does get traded. Daze has the specter. Shots from range will find him. That's going to be the drop. At close range on to Ethan. Asuna flanking there from the heaven side, and he will put the nail in. Daze is going to be a drone here. There's a flash point available, though. Curry's going to go for it again, but every single time they turn the flash, no chance. Oh. The ult doesn't connect, of course, because Skadoodle got him beforehand, and Nitro actually. Ow! They're getting the shock guard is perfect there, too. They're going to res on the third round in a five. Four versus one situation. I don't know about that, but in any case, automatic. We'll take down Asuna again, and Nitro is the one dealing Hiko. But now that Asuna is playing on Ray's, Showstopper also more powerful than what he had on Reyna. Farming that B main orb is not easy. In any case, it could be a flash in and they split on. Automatic with the Bucky, though. That's one. Hiko peeks through, but Nitro's on the back side. There's a flash to push still. Skadoodle gets it with the Nano Swarm to deny. Still's going to go forward with it, though. And a swarm will at least delay Skadoodle for now, but now as the smoke subsides, Dazed will send Steel down a 2v2 with the injured Sova. And we'll set up a crossfire in a main. Now it's up to T1 to defuse. They have a Hunter's Fury. They can try to clear out a particular angle if they so choose. They, they could be anywhere. Heaven, Hell, in and around the generator. It's planted. Or that hell side, but there's a wall up. There's the peak. There's the swing, and Nitro will clean them all up. Edge of that catwalk. Ethan goes down, and that with that smokes are down too. To run. Look at this patient play. They're just so careful, checking every corner, checking every angle. But he go. The arrows fly, and now they break open onto the ace side. Have complete control. Steal. All the way wrapped up in heaven, and T1 will save him. Does he find the peak gear? Yes! Another one right in the bag. The bag of goodies for 100 Thieves. But it was the Hunter's Fury to group two in Garden. Two frags for Hiko. The, the crazy part about that, though, is like Ethan losing smokes. It's like, that's a big deal. But they weren't even planning on that. They were already planning the Hunter's Fury and walk up dry through tree. The way that plays out and push it as fast as possible. Get the kills while everybody's worried about getting tagged down. Curry's going to try to hold on. Yes, he gets it against Nitro, but two more. They're going to swing. He only gets one. And Mike's not even here, by the way. And I think T1 know it. There's a cross here for Automatic as well. Doesn't catch the spike carrier, but we'll find Nitro. 
That's the resurrection down, so if things do get a little bit crazy. Won't be able to bring someone back into the fold. A quick trade between Steel and Dazed. And now the spike goes down to 3v3 retake. They both have smokes available. But for T1, they've got a little bit more utility with the Hunter's Fury. Straight towards the cave. You can clear that easy peasy. But if this round ends up becoming sour, it definitely will be a couple of lemons as well. Ethan. Shot's good. Oh, the tank. Another one. That's Tico finding automatic. Recon bolt on up. Shot's good onto another. And they'll just hold on to this. But Days has something to say about it. Not strong enough. Not fast. Being stuck in that cubby with the aftershock and not shrouding, shrouded stepping away. Default quickly leaves over towards A, though. And we've seen this story before. Spider will try to challenge. But it's going to be a dash. Oh. He gets the kill. There you go. No flash needed, but still now 100 Thieves going to try to pick up the pieces. No resurrection available. Did farm the orb there for Hiko. He's got Hunter's Fury now. Are they going to creep through the smoke? I think they might. I think there's going to be a wall and a double peek through the smoke. There's the paranoia. Full sides of the smoke. He clears it and Ethan oh, gets it, but wow. traded out by days. Walls out now. Automatic stuck behind. Eco alive and steal with the flank down in A main. He actually takes out Curry. Has to start the large run back towards B. That might actually cost him. They're hitting now. Uh oh, Nitro in trouble. Automatic teleports right on top of his wall. Steel's got to get her quickie. He's a little bit too late to the party, but there is a Hunter's Fury. Partner that up with Steel now trying to push them off. Wait, there's a counter Hunter's Fury? What is happening? Day's trying to get some shots through, but Spike is ticking Steel. You have to make it up to heaven fast. Now that a few starts to come through, he's down for the count. 31 HP. Hiko, you don't have a lot of time. The arches are being defended. And the defuse for T1. A small glimmer of hope. Another. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Asuna will fall paranoia to try to follow suit, but your comrade is gone. There is no bringing him back. Maybe, don't know how many points Nitro has for the resurrection. Does he have one more in the tank? Steel has already been working towards this A side, hasn't gotten a lot of this catwalk control, but there's two members on the site itself. He's going to need to wrap around. He gets rid of this glass. He's gonna be in a lot of trouble, but Skadoodle, like, who holds that angle? Who sits there? <laughs> Steel's gonna get taken down, and now it's just three sprinting on over towards this A site, but Automatic and Curry are ready. Watch to the delay, switch to spots. They're gonna be able to spot. That leaves Curry in an awkward spot, but cages are up. Great spot for Skadoodle initially, but now Automatic in an even better spot. Ethan finds one, but guess what? Spike Carrier down. Aftershock puts Ethan in trouble. He's going to have to Ooh. teleport, but Automatic, give him one, give him two. So first blood, not going to happen. It's going to be a full sky execute, but Skadoodle's here twice with a flash. Oh, Ethan backside wins the duel against Curry. Bunch of thieves. Now have a little bit more control. Shot's going to be good. Skadoodle in a lot of trouble. He's in the smoke and he's in danger. Nitro pushes up, but Spider's there with the op. Spike now planted. And it's a 3v4 retake for T1. How will they make this work? Steel in the pizza. Recon Bolt going to be destroyed. So now he's got to get out of there. And now Swarm's going to help out. There's the turret. Six men in the lobby and Steel will find the frag. Down to two. Lockdown available. Spider does manage to find Steel and another pick. Then now it's the 2v2, but the spike is still ticking. They don't have a lot of time. Ethan's in a great spot. That felt a little delayed, but the shot's good regardless. And now Spider, he's going to be looking to try to take them apart as they try to exit, looking for anything. He goes there and they push back from the smoke. Yeah, Shock back to push automatic back and they trade that really nicely. Skadoodle responds, but not before losing Spider too. And now a four versus three, and they're walled off on the A site. Days is nowhere to go. Skadoodle and Curry left wondering what to do. Days will find a shock dart kill on Asuna though, and that might open things up. But quickly, there's gonna be a flank through tree. Ethan's coming around. Hiko has to delay for as long as he can. Unfortunately, can't make that magic happen. Steel late on the rotate over towards the A site. Ethan coming into the tree room. Body peak, it does get spotted out by Dazed, and now the 2v3. Flash available. Steel 
Working his way through the heaven side. Has the turret. The sixth man in the lobby. Now the swing. They take it down and they get underneath and the flash will allow them to repeat the angle. Ethan will fall. Brutal. As it's now on to steal. Just down to him. Playing towards the heaven side. Has to win a 1v3. The 360 with the clock. This post plant. Look at Curry, by the way. All the way on the other side. Asuna might smell him out. Yes, he does. He's not gonna take that duel. He's gonna back away, Jeez. wait for his team to all the way to all the way attack and spawn. That's crazy. What a route for Curry to take, but I think he has enough time. He's gotta run. He can't hide. He needs to get here quickly. T1 have gotten the control, but they need to hold on to it. Asuna with one so far. The recumble's gonna try to tag a couple of members around. Hiko with the shock dart. They are taking it apart bit by bit. The diffuse is starting to come through and they don't have the angle there. They will just stick it. The spray's not gonna. Four versus four. And that costs them. Ooh. They don't have the space. What a shot. Come on, man. What is that? Nitro turns on the NOS with the boost. You can see right over through the arches. Finds that opening pick onto Spider. Push can still come to fruition here. Steal up on Heaven in a little bit of a tighter spot. There is the player about to plant. It's Skadoodle. The Nano Swarms have been dangerous, but he's got to deal with the sprays coming in from all angles. He's still alive somehow, some way. The showstopper goes vertical, and they will take <laughs> apart T1 bit by bit, leaving only Curry to salvage the pieces. This puts 100 Thieves at double digits. Double digits. It's only four rounds. It's only four rounds, but these rounds are... Molly, in that case, the Nano Swarm doesn't do as much damage. And he catches one unaware, completely spider down again. Curry does find one though, an automatic. They respond in kind, B side open. But the spike, but the spikes at tiles, they don't have it yet. They gotta go back and get it. They have all this control. Neural Theft will gather the intel, still have the Rolling Thunder, still have the Hunter's Fury available. Nitro inching closer, has the resurrection, and may be looking for that res. There it comes through. He goes back in the fray, but now they wanna push back in. Curry will take down three. He finally finds. The trade here for Ethan, but it's a 2v2. Spray through. Asuna caught with a paint shell out. Ethan down to 30 HP. The snail walk for automatic finds its mark onto Ethan. Now it's the duel, and it's a victory. As the flank now starts to try to come through. T1 still holding onto the spike, but guess what? He's going to track him, buy a little bit of time, even if it's a millisecond, and he's got this post plan Hunter's Fury he can now use, but they will try to push them back. Lockdown here and steal. Hunter's Fury available. The shot through underneath. Hunter's Fury now going to start to come through. Will it take out the lockdown? Yes. Yes, it will. Automatic trades. Ethan with three. Still down to days. Spike is ticking. They're diffusing. Smoke is down. The push comes in. Here to the swing. There's one. One more is all he needs. The clutch. Automatic. Still on this jump up angle. They are trying to flush him out, but he is holding strong. And now the smoke will reset the retake. Dude, look how much steel is waiting for this lurk from Curry. So much time elapsed now. Spike's been taking for about 10 seconds. This is gonna peak this spot two indoor, but it doesn't matter for Asuna. He gets one, and Ethan two, another one. This looks terrible now. T1 has to try something again, dazed, and Curry will back off towards main, but it's five versus two. Yeah, they have an angle here as well. Nitro with the op. Now he's gonna go fishing for one more daze. He's got nothing that he can do. The walking turret comes in. He will stirs one. That's what's on the line here for 100 Thieves, and you know. A side hit's gonna come quick. And there's They're nobody there. They're gonna play for retake here, 100 Thieves. Oh. Oh. No. Not like this. That's the dagger. Hunter's Fury also to deny oh. the plan. He gets it on the spider. No. T1 falling apart in the final moments. Two players left at Skadoodle and Dazed against five. One Ethan remaining. is going to find another one. Skadoodle tiptoeing through the tulips, but he's caught in a dream. Dazed finds his mark onto one, but he's in a 1v4. 100 Thieves will swarm him. They 